This is Cashflow Ninja, episode 139, with John Lee Dumas. Welcome to the Cashflow Ninja, the podcast empowering and inspiring people to discover how to generate their own income and manage, grow, and protect their own wealth in the new economy. Now, here is your host, MC Laubscher. Hello everyone, MC Lobster here and welcome to another episode of the Cashflow Ninja. I have a great show for you today and in today's show we're going to look at how to achieve your number one goal in just 100 days. My guest today is John Lee Dumas. John Lee Dumas is an American entrepreneur and podcaster based in Puerto Rico. He is the founder and host of Entrepreneur on Fire, EO Fire, a daily podcast that interviews entrepreneurs seven days a week. JLD was born and raised in Maine, and he graduated from Providence College on an Army ROTC scholarship in 2002. Upon graduation, he was commissioned as an officer in the U.S. Army. After a 13-month tour of duty in Iraq as an armor platoon leader, JLD completed his service to the U.S. Army and received an honorable discharge in 2010. Upon leaving the U.S. Army, JLD enrolled in Roger Williams University School of Law in Bristol, Rhode Island. Dropping out after one semester, he took a job in corporate finance at John Hancock in Boston. Later, he went to New York City, where he worked for a technology startup until departing to San Diego in 2009. In San Diego, JLD began a career in real estate, and upon a friend's suggestion, he began listening to podcasts in order to pass the time during his long drives. He started listening to NPR while exploring other shows such as Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income and Cliff Ravencroft's podcast Answer Man. After moving back to Maine in mid-2011 to pursue a career in commercial real estate, JLD thought of starting a different venture. He then realized none of his favorite podcasts offered daily content. This gave him the idea of starting his own podcast. He developed the concept of a daily podcast that would feature the story of successful entrepreneurs. He named it EO Fire, short for Entrepreneur on Fire. EO Fire launched September 22 of 2012. As his subscribers grew, he published Podcast Launch in Amazon Bookstore. Podcast Launch is a guide of the exact steps he took to launch EO Fire. In 2013, JLD launched Podcasters Paradise, a community of podcasters that I've spoken about previously on the show and I am also a member of still to today. JLD hosts a free live Google Hangout podcast workshop as an introduction to podcasting every other week. EO Fire has featured several entrepreneurs, including Seth Godin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Barbara Corcoran, Tim Ferriss, and Brian Tracy. The show was named Best of iTunes in 2013, and the show generates seven figures in revenue annually. And JLD is extremely transparent, and he continues to openly share his income breakdown in a monthly income report on his site, verified by a CPA. In 2016, JLD launched the Freedom Journal, a journal to help individuals set and accomplish a goal in 100 days. He launched the Freedom Journal via a Kickstarter campaign in January 2016, which became one of the most funded publishing campaigns in the history of Kickstarter, with over $350,000 pledged in 33 days. Please share your feedback and thoughts with me on today's interview. You can let me know your thoughts on Twitter by tweeting me at MC Laubscher or by email at info at CashflowNinja.com. And please remember to join our mailing list by signing up at CashflowNinja.com or texting CashflowNinja, one word, all capitalized to 44222. That's two fours and three twos. Have you read Rich That Poor Dad? Are you interested in real estate investing and don't know where to start or to get the results you want? For valuable information to get you started, visit JoinUpsProperties at JoinUpsProperties.com. 
Globally, coffee is a $90 billion industry, and International Coffee Farms offers a sustainable income opportunity through offshore sustainable agriculture. You can own a parcel of your very own cash-flowing specialty coffee farm in Panama. Sustainable income through sustainable agriculture. For more information on this income opportunity, you can download your free report at cashflowninja.com forward slash Panama. I've spoken about the most powerful system on the planet, on the show, the banking system. And my firm, Valhalla Wealth Financial, helps people reclaim the banking function within their own lives through leveraging the premier tools and strategies of the wealthy. If you're interested in reclaiming the banking function within your own life and the infinite banking concept, you can email me at info at cashflowninja.com. With me is John Lee Dumas from Entrepreneur on Fire. JLD, welcome to the show. MC, thanks for having me. This is JLD in the house. (laughs) The creator of the Freedom Journal and now the Mastery Journal. The Freedom Journal helps you set and accomplish your number one goal in 100 days. And the Mastery Journal helps you master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. JLD, where did the idea come from and what inspired you to create and launch the Freedom Journal and then also your latest journal, the Mastery Journal? Well, you know, first, I think I need to take lessons on how to say mastery because you say it so much cooler than I do. So, you that. <laughs> Number two is, you know, the reality, I just listen to my audience and that's how I've created all the products that have worked in my business. Number one, I just create free, valuable, and consistent content via podcasts, emails, videos, social media, and I try to grow an audience around that. And then I ask that audience, what are you Like my listeners, my readers, my viewers, what are you struggling with? And then I listen as they share their pain points or obstacles or challenges or struggles. And then I try to create a solution for them. And and that solution is in the form of a product or service community. So my audience came to me and they were saying over and over again, John, how do we set and accomplish goals? And I thought that, thought that was a very um, great question and one that I wanted to learn more about myself. So I spent a long time researching, studying, and getting better at that very thing. And in January of 2016, I launched the Freedom Journal, Accomplish Your Number One Goal in 100 Days. And it just really struck a nerve. And we um, did over $453,000 in revenue in just 33 days, becoming the most funded journal of all time on Kickstarter. And I decided to follow that up a year later with the Mastery Journal because I have been able to master productivity, discipline, and focus over the years. And I'm still working on continuing my mastery of them every day. But I've really um, become very adept at all three of those traits. And I wanted to share with others my system for mastering those three skills. So I created the Mastery Journal to allow others to master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. And we launched that in January of 2017. And uh, 32 days later, we had over $280,000 in revenue generated and another hit on our hands. Oh, that's fantastic. And of course, this show is all about multiple streams of income. And JLD, you are a truly a Mm -hmm. cash flow ninja. And you've been on fire turning your digital income streams into just fire hoses that are out of control. Um. But most of your income streams have been digitally focused. Why did you decide to go the physical product route? Well, you know, I think that's the definition of uh, multiple income streams is not just limiting yourself to one product, one service, or one platform. And, you know, digital is one platform. So why not um, diversify myself even more and getting into the physical product line and, and understanding how that part of the game works and, you know, how to actually get something manufactured, uh, shipped, warehouse distributed into Amazon FBA, what fulfillment looks like. It's a different ballgame. It's a different beast. Now that I have those skills, sky's the limit. One habit I've observed from wealthy and successful JLD is that they're always studying new subjects and learning new skill sets and looking where that, where that puck is going, right? What are you currently studying right now and looking at and what skill sets are you currently learning? Well, I'll tell you, I think that there's a lot of interesting things going on with Facebook right now as far as advertising with Facebook ads, specifically uh, Facebook Messenger ads with bots and all these things. I mean, I think it's just a really interesting way um, to connect with people at a high level. Um, and I just think that it's, it's, it's new, it's cutting edge, and I'm just seeing a lot of people use it with, with a lot of success, which I think is pretty darn exciting. 
Um, so that's kind of fascinating to me right now. And, you know, also uh, the physical product world. I mean, Amazon has just made us just a, a world, not just a nation. It's a world of click and buys. You know, that's all we do. We just click, we buy, we click, we buy. And then, you know, a couple of days later, it shows up. <laughs> or in some cases, a couple of hours later, it shows up. And it's really fascinating that, you know, it's just this barrier of having to get into a car and drive somewhere and then walk into a store and, you know, it's all gone. Now we just click, click, click and boom, it's there. So the minute we want something, we can have it, we buy it. So um, I, I think that there's some great opportunity there for people that are willing to, to go down that road. So I'm, you know, currently exploring some more opportunities to, to get more into the physical product game within Amazon because I think there's a lot of great opportunities there. Fantastic platform. Are there any other platforms that you're focusing and looking at uh, expanding this brand of yours and dominating besides Amazon? No, none. <laughs> now, JLD, you've interviewed uh, the most successful and top entrepreneurs in the world to be specific at the time of recording what is now over 1,640. Yeah. So you've had a ringside seat to success blueprints and foundational core values and principles of entrepreneurial rock stars. Now, our core message in our show is to leave our families, communities, and the world better than we found it by passing down mindset, values, and principles to future generations, not just money. So if you cannot pass on any money to future generations and we're only to pass on to them three principles to build wealth and achieve happiness and success, what would they be? Well, principle number one um, would be hard work. You know, that's something that I would really want people to realize is that you're not going to get anywhere without working hard. Uh, number two would be working smart. You know, a lot of people do just do that first principle and they never find joy or success because they're just working hard at the wrong thing. So actually take time to think what you're working hard at to make sure that you're also working smart. And the number three, nurture relationships. Like for me, all of my greatest success has become has been because I've nurtured relationships with people um, that you know we can work together and we can join forces. We can amplify our message, our mission, our voice with the world. So I think if you if you really focus on those three principles, like you're off to the races. You're listening to John Lee Dumas on the Cashflow Ninja podcast. We will be right back after a word from our sponsor. International Coffee Farms is a real estate-based specialty coffee farm ownership opportunity. You can own deeded, half-acre parcels in title, already operating specialty coffee farms in Boguete, Panama. They are turnkey managed professionally on your behalf by a team of local experts with sustainable average income of 12% and with cash flow beginning in 12 to 15 months from the date of your parcel ownership. International Coffee Farms' mission is to own and operate specialty coffee farms in Boguete, Panama that are economically, environmentally, and socially sustainable. As part of this mission, 20% of the gross profits of each farm goes towards a socially sustainable fund to improve the lives of the coffee farm Farm workers and their families. International Coffee Farms currently owns and operates eight specialty coffee farms in Boguete, Panama, with parcels available for immediate ownership. To find out how you can become a parcel owner, you can download your free income opportunity report at cashflowninja.com forward slash Panama. You're listening to John Lee Dumas on the Cashflow Ninja podcast, and now back to our interview. JLD, now you started your business, you had no list, <laughs> you had no listeners, uh, you had an idea, and uh, you found a way and got a mentor and put together a plan and a blueprint and executed on it. What advice would you give to listeners listening out there that they're in the same situation where may, wherever they are, regardless in the world, uh, with no list, no audience, they have an idea, uh, just share a couple of uh, uh, tactics uh, and steps with them to be uh, to take action on uh, and making this dream come in realization. A uh, number one, niche your face off. And what I mean by that is like, stop trying to be everything to everyone. When you start, like you're trying to resonate with everybody, you're going to resonate with nobody. So, you know, find a market that you enjoy. And then within that market, find a sub market. And then within that sub market, find a niche that you can absolutely dominate. And by dominate, you know, I mean, be the best in show in that niche. So, you know, don't just start a health show um, and, you know, go, go into a sub market, which might be, you know, diets, 
Um, well, that's still too vague. So niche within that to maybe ketosis and become the forefront, you know, podcast called the ketosis show, which by the way, doesn't exist. I've checked and you can just be that voice for that one thing. And a lot of people are terrified, like, Oh my God, but like, what if, you know, that, that fad turns or what if there's not enough listeners or people, um, then you shift, then you pivot. But guess what? You've already now gotten some brand recognition. You've learned a lot. Um, you're doing the thing. So you just keep moving forward. It's the people that, that are just scared of niching that fail because they never get that initial momentum, which you can only get by your willingness to niche. I mentioned mentorship and you've been a mentor of mine through the podcast, There's Paradise, which I've spoken about on the show before. Can you share a little bit what role that had in uh, obviously launching Entrepreneur on Fire and just the growth and development of that business? Yeah, what's interesting is a lot of people start their business and they're terrified because you know they think they need to have all the products and services and ideas themselves. But the reality is, if you just create free, valuable, and consistent content, and then you ask your audience that you're growing the question, what are you struggling with? They'll give you the answers. And so six months in, my audience was asking me at a high level, John, how do I create my podcast and fishing and gardening and health, whatever it might be? And I was like, huh. So I never thought that people would want me to teach them podcasting, but apparently that's happening. Um, so what do I do? And so I launched Podcasters Paradise and it's turned out, you know, to generate over $4 million in the past five years and over 3,000 members. And, um, it's just been a great success for us all because I asked my audience what they needed and I gave it to them in the form of the community on how to create, grow, and monetize your podcast. And that's how I've done everything since then for my products and services. And I think if you just apply that simple formula, um, you'll win. You've uh, ended the last year with a bang and started this year with a bang too with these journals, skills on fire, and a couple of more things going on. What can listeners expect of uh, JLD and the team at Entrepreneur on Fire in 2017? Well, I'm writing my first traditionally published book, which I'm excited about. And it's really the only thing that I'm focused on right now because I'm a big believer in following one course until success. So basically, I'm, I'm writing this book as a response to the hundreds of thousands of emails that I get from people that say variations of, John, I'm tired of losing. John, I don't want to lose. John, this, that, lose, lose. And this word is just permeating um, this these communications from people. And I just felt like I need to now write the definitive response to that, which is, it's not about how not to lose. I lose every single day. In fact, if I go multiple days without losing, um, I know something's wrong, that I'm not pushing the envelope, that I'm not getting out of my comfort zone. So I figure out a way to lose big time because it's not about how not to lose. It's about how to finally win. So that's the name of the book that I'm writing, How to Finally Win create your dream life one step at a time. And win is singular and it's meant to be because my single win is EO Fire, launching that podcast. I knocked over that big domino and the entire chain reaction of awesome that's happened has been from that very launch of the podcast. So I want to help other people get to their single win and stop being afraid of losing because losing is part of the game and you're always going to lose. That never ends. Such a valuable lesson right there. The schools do not teach us how to lose, right? Or fail. <laughs> we have to know all the right answers. And uh, that, 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 that ties into a lot of the fear of failure that people have. So that's such a valuable lesson. I'll be looking for, out for that book and uh, can't wait to, to read that and share that with my listeners. Thank you. Uh, and hey, listen, there's another thing that schools do wrong too. You know, if you get four A's and a C, they say, oh, you better work on that C. Like, really? <laughs> like, why do you want to become okay at something you're crappy at? Like, why not focus on one of those A's that you just loved and crushed and you're automatically good at and so that you can become great at it? Like, we don't want people that are okay at something. We want people that are great. So figure out what it is that you're great at or that you really passionately want to become great at and do that thing. Fantastic. JLD, where can my listeners learn more about you, listen to your fabulous podcast, and stay involved with all of the projects that you're involved with? Listen, EO Fire is where all the magic happens. So you can check me out there, eofire.com. And uh, thanks for chatting today. 
Fantastic. Well, JD, thank you for coming on the show and providing so much value for my listeners. It's been a fantastic experience. And thank you for your guidance and, and mentorship with regarding to podcasts over the last year in my journey. Thanks, MC. Appreciate you. Hi, this is MC Lobsher, the host of the Cashflow Ninja podcast. As you may know, I'm also the president and chief wealth strategist of Valhalla Wealth Financial. We help individuals, families, small businesses, entrepreneurs, and professionals build their wealth outside of Wall Street and help investors maximize the use of every dollar in their personal economy and boost their investment gains. We do this by combining their capital and investments with the financial vehicle of the wealthy, according to the infinite banking concept. If you are interested in learning more, you can email me at info at cashflowninja.com and I will send you a copy of Nelson Nash's book, Becoming Your Own Banker. Thank you for joining my guest, John Lee Dumas, and myself on the Cashflow Ninja today. If you like what you hear and appreciate what we're trying to build here at the Cashflow Ninja, please subscribe, rate, and review our show on iTunes, and share our show with family, friends, and your network. I'm always trying to learn and improve in every area of my life, so if there's any way that I can provide more value to you and serve you better, please reach out to me at info at cashflowninja.com. Jimmy Friedland and Bob Scott have been in your shoes and have used real estate investing to become financially free. They've designed a system to take any beginner to an experienced deal-making investor in the least amount of time. They offer opportunities from basic education, coaching, bridge loan investing, to turnkey investments, and the cash-flowing market of St. Louis, Missouri. For more information, please visit joinopsproperties.com or call Jimmy and Bob at 314-799-2247. Coffee is a proven product and a $90 billion industry worldwide. Through international coffee farms, you have a chance to own and operate your own half-acre parcels in a specialty coffee farm in Panama, professionally turnkey managed for you. You can download your coffee farm ownership opportunity report at cashflowninja.com forward slash Panama. That's our show for today, everyone. Until next time, live a life of passion and purpose on your terms. You have been listening to the Cashflow Ninja with your host, MC Laubscher, the podcast empowering and inspiring people to discover how to generate their own income and manage, grow, and protect their own wealth in the new economy. Today's show notes and resources are available on our website, CashflowNinja.com. This presentation is for educational and informational purposes only. The information being presented and considered does not consider your particular financial objectives or situation, and it does not make personalized recommendations. This material is not intended to replace the advice of a qualified tax and legal advisor or other qualified professionals, and you should not use the information in place of a customized consultation with a licensed professional regarding your specific personal financial objective, situation, and needs. We believe the information provided is reliable, but we do not guarantee its accuracy, timeliness, or completeness.